Good day, everyone, and welcome. Uh, I'm here to demonstrate a new feature released in GitLab 12.10 for requirements management. It's a feature we're super excited about. I know a lot of people have requested being able to manage your requirements from within GitLab, and that is now a released feature. If you look at this demonstration project, you'll see along the left-hand navigation bar, there's an entry for requirements. And if we click on that, it brings us to a list of requirements. Now this list is very similar to things we see elsewhere in the product. We see this in uh, issues and merge requests. Uh, and here you'll see your list of requirements, each with a unique identifier. So a requirement can be in one of two states. It can be open or it can be archived. And this allows us to filter these buttons along the top, allow us to filter on the open requirements or in this case, the archived requirements. You'll also see that there's the ability to see both archived and open requirements in case you wanna view all the requirements in a project. Going back to archive or open requirements, you'll see that each requirement is presented with when it was created, by who it was created, and when it was last updated. Now to add a new requirement, you can click on the new requirement button and this will bring up a box where you can type in whatever requirement text you need. Clicking on the create requirement will give this requirement a unique identifier and it will say it's created just now and it was updated just now. So if we look at a requirement that was updated seven minutes ago and we wanna make some changes to this, we can click on the edit button and we'll bring back our text box where we can add additional information. We can then save these changes. If we decide that a requirement is no longer applicable to development, we generally don't want to delete it because requirements are considered a durable artifact throughout the life cycle of a project. However, we may want to archive it so that it's no longer in the list of active requirements. Doing so is as simple as clicking on the archive button. And you'll see that the counts are displayed. So now we have three open requirements and two archived requirements. If we accidentally archive a requirement, we can easily go back over here and reopen these requirements by simply clicking on the reopen button. Notice that you cannot edit archive requirements because they're durable. We want them to maintain their state for the life cycle of the project as a history of where the requirements were. However, to bring it back, clicking reopen, we'll move it back to the open requirements and you can see it comes back. You'll also note that all requirements have a unique identifier for some regulated industries and other industries, it's required to have requirements with unique identifiers in order to discuss them or talk amongst your team. So you can reference them by their unique identifier. This is a brand new feature and we're very excited to launch this. If there are any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us as we implement further revisions of this. We'd love to hear your feedback. And if there's anything else we can do to make your life easier with regards to requirements, please reach out and let us know. Thank you so much for your time.